So welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today it is the official top 10 community sub submissions as the voting has now closed and we have our top 10 for one of these creatures will be coming to aberration for arc survival ascended so as you guys can see wildcard have tweeted we're going to be going through it now i will not be doing my vote live on camera because i feel like you guys prefer when i don't and to make it more fair um, but we're going to be going through all of it in today's video if you do enjoy and you're excited for the announced creature for aberration smash that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel because as always it means so much to me let's get in with the video so as you can see voting has begun for the top 10 community submissions now's your opportunity to, to determine a new aberration creature for arc survival ascended the voting ends on Monday, the 24th of July, uh, of July. So we have officially a week to get our votes in. And then after that, on the Friday, uh, so what date will that be? So anyway, so Monday, the 24th, the voting ends and the crunch at the on the Friday will be the official announcement for the creature. So let's hop on and see what made the top 10. So... I feel like the best way to do this is just because they have all the descriptions below here. So, oh, they haven't actually, you can't actually click the links from here. That's really frustrating. I suppose we should just copy it and paste it. But um, yeah, anyway, so you have the Ornamegalonics, <laughs> um, the motorbike, the Terror to Peton or Peton or Peton, <laughs> the YQ, um, the Shanosaurus. The uh, this is like that sort of like trilobite type design, which is really cool. The uh, fluffy spider, um, the chasmosaurus, the pala. Well, I'm that, guessing that's the octopus and the cooler sutures. So basically, as always, how you get involved with this, whatever creature you want the most to come to the game. This is not official. This is not what I'm going to be doing. This is completely random. But you put it at number one and then whatever you want at number two, uh, you put there. And then obviously the one you want the least, I don't know, just maybe that you'll put at the bottom. And then basically how it works is um, you, you drag your most preferred candidates to the top. And then the wild card after a while will do like, and it's like the way this website works is like an overall summary um so if let's say you put something number three but it's had loads of people put it number one because it's kind of nearer to the top there's a bigger chance that that will come to the game so i'm saying like your top five are your like strongest strongest like candidates to come and then anything below that obviously goes next i'm going to be doing my vote straight after this video um so what i'm going to quickly do is i am going to copy this link here um and then we'll paste it over here and head on to the page um and then if we want to go to the finalist discussion um as you can see the voting did come in i don't think they've done it from like top to bottom so they this is why i say the first voting never matters um you know if you make it first in the top 10 i think the spider one it really doesn't matter there's just like no point after that all that matters is that you get into the top 10 so as a quick run through this is the giant flightless owl um so that is the one that was yeah this one here there's the giant flightless owl uh, makes it a little bit easier if i go ahead Ahead and show you guys all the different ones this is the fluffy jumping spider trank bowler um which looks really cool and the design was artwork was done by um severa i'm hoping i've pronounced that right uh and yeah it looks very nice i've gone through these in other videos if you guys want to check that out anyway um it's just i don't want this video to be two hours for you um and then in third we have the night cooler the terror to uh, I, I really want to know how to pronounce this. The Terra to, uh, to Petten, the Terra to Petten, maybe. Um, this has been in past votes before. This is definitely one of my favourites as well. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying go and vote for it, guys, but I'm saying that this is was a really, really cool one. I'm actually struggling. I'm going to do the vote after this video, but I'm really struggling to know what to vote for because I, I actually like pretty much every single one. Um, so yeah, that's that. 
And then we have the Cooler Sutures. Again, another very, very cool one. Um, it is Ark's new Combat and Utility Amphibian. Some great artwork on here too. So I recommend you guys go and check it out um, if this is something you want to come to the game. And then we have the YQ. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. I remember in the past someone told me and I kept getting it right and now I can't. <laughs> but this is the Skilled Assassin. And I thought it was really cool the way that they showed how it's like... It's it's basically like an assassin with blades so it like flies away and takes like a big cut out of like a spinal or something um and uh, it, it does no bleed damage but it, it like leaves a mark on it which is uh which is pretty cool um and then we also have the um the hypnotic nightmare the trilobite like creature this again was a seriously cool creature really awesome artwork in the uh, and it looks scary and i think it really does fit in with the aberration side of things so um this one um again another amazing one like that's why i said it's going to be such a hard vote um and then we have the walking charge lantern now this one made it into the game it's the chasmosaurus made it into the game uh the top 10 sorry literally by like three votes or four votes or something it was so close and it just managed to make it into its top 10 um so yeah this is the uh what it's going to look like pretty much part of the trike family in a way isn't it so um yeah that makes it into the top 10 voting and then we have the reaper supporting giant land octopus um it is not a shoulder pet those are in the reply so this person does not want this to be a shoulder pet if someone has done another design with a shoulder pet i'd rather it not be a shoulder pet i quite like the idea of something being like a big scary octopus that supports reapers sounds very scary and very overpowered but sounds so cool um and then the last two is we have the shunosaurus the armored sauropod with a tail club this one again that would be so nice armored um with a giant like um like anky tail that can smack you um which i can't imagine will feel very nice in game um so yeah some really cool abilities there and uh and everyone's saying we need more combat sauropods in the in, in the comments and then finally the motorbike made by one of my other friends in the art community, Neddy the Noodle. Um, this is a such a cool design. I like how it was like made into like a motorbike thing and the name motorbike perfect a uh, really really nice made dossier as well there um and the artwork was done by or loki um she's incredibly talented and so big thanks to her that is some great artwork and is there any more further down yeah okay I, I like the way the design sort of shows that it was inspired from a trilobite if i'm correct let me read this first bit so aberration is a unique map and it should only have the most unique creatures as such i'd like to introduce my creature pit, uh, pitch the motorbite this is a creature based uh on the species of trilobite um and uh, it was able to curl up into a dis defensive position which gives it the appearance of almost having a will underneath which was the inspiration so another really really awesome design there so i have to give credit to everyone that got into the top 10 there are some crazy crazily good um designs this time around for aberration and i like how everyone's gone unique and proper followed the way the aberration it can work with the aberration map so it's time to do my votes i know you guys are going to be getting involved with it as well i am very excited i hope you guys are excited too and uh, that's pretty much going to be the video now so let me know in the comment section what your this is how i like to do it as well in the comment section what your number one to ten was i love one as soon as the video goes live and and people start doing their votes i love to see it in the comments to see like you know gives you an idea of what the community is going for i know a lot of people have very different ideas and very different votes but that's the whole thing that i love about the community so Getting straight into my vote now. I'll catch you guys later. Good luck to everyone who has won in the top 10. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. July 24th is the end date. Do not miss it, guys.